Okay, I don't know if you can see over the uh, tree line there, way off in the distance on the horizon there. Um, that's where we're headed. We're gonna go see Lake Michigan for uh, Aquan Hut, or Octane, sorry, Octane. Um, so, uh, I was left alone today. <laughs> My wife had other things to do. My daughter's in school. My other daughter's at home at, uh, in Chicago. She'll be coming back tomorrow morning. But anyway, and I'm sitting there thinking, it's going to be in the 70s today and really nice. So today seemed like a good day to go for a ride. Take an hour or two and just go. So, uh, we won't obviously show you the entire ride, it would be long and boring, but you don't need that. Uh, the lake's about uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes from my house. Uh, it's going to be, uh, according to the weather, 75 uh, at our, you know, in our town, but 65 along the lake. Uh, so, uh, it's one of the things I like about living along the lake, because I used to for a while live along the lake, and, uh, it was pretty nice. It was definitely pretty nice, um, but, uh, a little warmer in the winter, a little cooler in the summer, I mean, it worked out pretty well. idling a little high. Man, I'm hearing that lifter, or that valve not uh, seating right. I'm gonna have to look into that. There's the Harley dealer, the big one around here. Ukes, U-K-E-S, Ukes. That's the uh, Greyhound Park. Used to be able to go there and bet on dogs. And it was busy for a while in the 80s, but shortly died after that. Now they're wanting to put up a casino, but they're meeting a lot of resistance from the uh, town, from Kenosha, so I don't know. We'll see if it actually happens or not. Wow, nobody's passing me, I'm surprised. Usually people fly down this road. Hmm, must be lunchtime or near it. Kenosha Airport. Kind of small, but it serves a purpose. And uh, they're getting a heck of a lot more business now that there's a uh, Amazon distribution center just about, I don't know, five, ten miles north of here. Rust-Oleum uh, Warehouse. If you bought Rust-Oleum in the Midwest anytime recently, probably went through here, maybe. Possibly. So this empty lot here, this is where the Chrysler plant used to be. 
and uh, before that AMC. Uh, they recently tore everything down, so there's nothing left now but a big field. And then there used to be a, um, a bridge, a walkway, that connected this lot to this lot. And it used to go across the road here. Not so much anymore, but... <laughs> but I do remember watching them tear it down, so... That was a long time ago, but still. Oh man, it is colder than 65 down here today. Absolutely. All right, let's see if we can get a little closer, shall we? That's just one harbor. One of the many, actually. used to be the uh, Johnson Board Marine Company uh, used to have a plant right there. Not really sure what it is now, but for a long time it said empty it. Well, they just didn't look so good, let's put it that way. <laughs> but U.S. Coast Guard off on their way to do duty. Do whatever it is they do. I don't think you can see the ferry. Um, there's a ferry that goes from Milwaukee to uh, someplace in Michigan. I can't remember the town. Anyway, um, they carry about, I don't know, 12 cars, 15 cars, something like that, across the lake. Shortens the time considerably, all that sort of thing. Lake Michigan. Nothing but water as far as the eye can see. Kenosha Harbor Lighthouse. It's probably not as useful any to now as it used to be. Public Museum. Yeah, that's right. Kenosha has a museum. Go figure, right? Giraffe. Okay, that's interesting. I guess. And a lot of the, uh, um, stuff they put here, uh, like the torpedo and the ink, boat anchor, and that's all stuff from when um, the naval yards were here back in, I think they dismantled them in the late 70s, early 80s. In fact, the house I live in was built uh, as part of a community of cheap housing for uh, uh, naval officers. Um, so all the houses were built the same. They're all kit houses. Uh, they were supposed to be cheap, affordable houses for the naval guys. And um, they finished our house uh, just as they closed up shop. So
So like that stuff is from the naval yard back when it was here before they removed everything. They took a few artifacts to some for the museum and some for. I think this is a motorcycle meetup place for for guys uh, on Tuesday nights because uh, why not? Also, Redline Cycles. I know the owner is a good guy. I buy here whenever I can. Just kind of support him, you know. And uh, I've not really gone this far north along the lake, gosh, in 30 years, so I'm not really sure.